Thomas the tank engine was a really useful engine. He was so useful that he was given his very own branch line to run on. You could almost go without me now, choked his driver with a laugh. My driver says I don't need him now, Thomas bragged to the other engines. You wouldn't dare go out without your driver, said Percy. I might, said Thomas. Just wait and see. The next morning, when the firelighter came, he lit a fire in Thomas's firebox to start the fuel burning. Thomas woke up. Percy and the other engines were still fast asleep. Thomas suddenly remembered his boast. I'll show them, he said. My driver hasn't come yet. Here goes. Thomas thought he was being clever, but he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his controls. When Thomas tried to stop, he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. Up ahead was the station master's house. He and his family were inside. Oh no, he exclaimed and shut his eyes. The house rocked. Broken glass tinkled and falling plaster peppered the family's plates. And guess whose head was poking through the wall, looking in? The station master angrily walked out and shut off Thomas's steam. Just look at what you've done to our breakfast, scolded the station master's wife. Now we shall have to cook some more. She banged the door on her way to the kitchen. More plaster fell on Thomas. Thomas felt sad. The plaster tickled his nose. He wanted to sneeze, but he didn't dare in case the house fell on him. Nobody came for a long time. Puffing hard, the twin engines, Donald and Douglas, managed to haul Thomas back to the yard. Thomas's smokestack was bent. Bits of fence, a bush, and a broken window frame decorated his badly twisted front. The twin engines laughed and left him. Thomas knew he had behaved badly. Sir Topham Hat came by to take a look. You are a very naughty engine, he said to Thomas. I know, sir, Thomas said. I'm sorry, sir. You must have your front mended, Sir Topham Hat said. Meanwhile, a diesel will do your work. A diesel? Thomas sputtered in surprise. Yes, Thomas. Diesels always stay in their sheds. Diesels never run off to breakfast in station masters' houses, said Sir Topham Hatt. 